What's up everyone, welcome back to my top 10 setups of the day series. Before we get started, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more of these amazing setups. The first setup on the list comes from user Unusual Implement 890 and it features two setups in the same room. On the PC side of things, we're looking at a desk made from an IKEA Linmon tabletop with Alex drawers and Aldis legs with an Asus ROG Strix curved XG43 VQ monitor and a Logitech MX Master Mouse. Over on the right you're looking at a Playseat Evolution chair, a Thrustmaster TX wheelbase, a Thrustmaster Ferrara F1 wheel and some Thrustmaster TLCM pedals. On the right side we've also got another impressive monitor, this time in the form of a Samsung 32 inch monitor. The gear in these two builds is really impressive and they look great but I would love to see some attention paid to decorating the space or adding some ambient lighting. Here we've got another amazing setup, this time coming from user Pizza Green, and it features lots of lovely IKEA furniture. The desk is made from an IKEA countertop and some Alex drawers, and the bright white colour adds some nice contrast to the room. On it you can spot a dual monitor setup featuring an HP monitor and an Acer monitor, both of which flanked on either side by a pair of Logitech speakers. Below that we've got a Razer mouse and a Razer keyboard, both of which are sitting on the iconic Razer Glyphus extended mouse pad. I really like the decoration around the room, as well as the light above the monitor which really helps with the eye strain. Our next build comes from Brent vs Bread and it's an unbelievably cosy and warm build. We've got a dual monitor setup with an ultra wide AW3420DW as a vertical Dell monitor. Below that we're looking at a Logitech mouse and what appears to be a Razer mouse pad both of which are fantastic RGB that matches perfectly with the rest of the build. Over on the right is the PC power in this build, which features a 2080 GPU, an Intel i7 CPU, an Asus Z390A motherboard, and 16GB of Corsair Vengeance RAM. My favourite part of this setup is easily the matching RGB that gives the whole build a nice orange glow that comes across very inviting and cosy, making this a great place to play some video games on a rainy Sunday. For the next spot on this list, we're going for a much more dark, spooky and minimalistic build from user eChains Z6. Here we've got another dual monitor setup, but this one is using two 27 inch Dell S2719 DGF monitors with a BenQ screen bar in the middle and a Grove Mate monitor stand beneath them to help maximise desk space. On the desk you'll also spot a Logitech keyboard as well as the iconic and ever popular Logitech MX Master Mouse. The dark lighting in this setup gives it a super unique and calming appearance and it makes it seem like a great work from home setup. At our number 6 spot we've got another calm and relaxing build but with more of a neon twist from Serini Game. Starting with those stunning displays we're looking at two Dell 32 inch curved Quad HD FreeSync monitors that are mounted on a Huana dual monitor mount. To the right of the monitors we've got a sweet looking PC that includes an EVGA NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060, an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X and an Asus ROG Strix B450F motherboard all tucked inside an amazing looking fractal meshify PC case. For their other peripherals we've got a unique Durgod Taurus K320 keyboard and a set of Audio-Technica ATH M40X headphones. We've officially reached the halfway mark in this list and at this spot we've got a sick Simlab setup from Power Off. They've got three curved MSI Optics monitors as well as two iPad minis giving you plenty of screen room to help with the immersion. They've got an Asus Claymore keyboard with a retractable keyboard mount, a VPC Mongoose T50 throttle, two Verpal VPC Mongoose T50 joysticks, two Club Sport steering wheels, a Club Sport pedal and a Club Sport handbrake bringing it all together with a P1X Sim racing cockpit seat. This is a very unique setup compared to what we normally see on this list, and it is a little bit out of my area of expertise, but it seems like an unbeatable build for anyone who loves simulator games. Here we've got a futuristic minimalistic setup from Gene Kev. First up is the Samsung 34 inch CJ791 monitor on an Ergear monitor stand. Below that is a glorious XXL white mousepad with a Carpio wrist rest and a Keyboardia Atrius 42 with Kale Noble yellow blank keycaps. Under the desk we've got an awesome looking PC that includes a Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX case, an MSI B460M motherboard, 
an Intel Core i5 CPU and a 1650 graphics card. I love the backlighting in this setup as it gives the build an ethereal glow and I'm also a big fan of how clean this setup is as it really helps make the setup feel a lot bigger than it actually is. At our number 3 spot we've got this very fun and colourful neon build from Offbeat24. We've got a glorious a triple monitor setup that features two Asus TUF VG289Q1A monitors and one vertical Asus ROG 27-inch G-Sync 2K monitor. Down on the desk we've got a fantastic looking K95 Platinum keyboard and a Corsair Scimitar Pro mouse on a SteelSeries Quick mouse pad. On the right is a PC in a Corsair 465X case and it features an i9-11900K and a Z490A motherboard. The lighting on this setup is amazing and the fun combination of colours gives this build a lot of life and it makes it really stand out. Up next we've got another top tier minimalistic setup, this time from 9 Phase. Not only do they have that impressive TV, they also have an amazing ultra wide Samsung C49 HG90 monitor. Their other peripherals include an Anpro 2 keyboard, a Corsair mouse and a Thrustmaster T300 Ferrara integral wheel. I love the combination of the white LED with the green of the plants as it adds some cool contrasts and splashes of colour to the build. At our final spot on the list we've got this super clean and minimal setup from Collaptica. The desk is an uplift desk that is holding up an Alienware AW3420DW monitor, a Lenovo G27Q monitor, a Logitech mouse, a drop control keyboard with Halo True switches, and it's lit by the KSR Science Q50R lights. I love how bright and clean this setup is, as the cleanness of the desk definitely helps with the productivity, and it makes it seem like a great place to get some work done. And that is the end of the video, leave a like if you have enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos just like this one. I'll see you all in the next one.